Welcome back. We're doing noodles today. I've not done noodles for ages and I love noodles. So don't ask me why I've not done any. But these ones I've not had before. They're from Mama. These are just Mama. Now I did the spicy chicken ones I believe and they were nice. So we're doing today Mi Goreng. And that is how you pronounce it apparently because I looked it up. And apparently because it don't actually tell you what the flavorings are supposed to be on here as i can see but it's thin yellow noodles done with loads of different veggies and prawns or beef or chicken and basically anything so we're going to go over to the hob we're going to cook them and then we're going to see what they taste like there the babies look So in the packet you get them, the noodles, but then you also get a packet with all that lot in. Let's have a look what's in here. So that's what you get. It says add noodles and garnish. That's got to be the garnish, isn't it? Surely. Because it's got sweet corn in that's dried, so that's going to take longer to cook. Add noodles and garnish to 400 ml of boiling water, simmer for 3 minutes, drain off the water, add seasoning and mix well before serving. And that's it. So I'm assuming that they're classing all three of them as your seasoning. And that's your garnish. Can you not put all of that in one packet? I don't know. Right, let's get cooking. Right, noodles are in, in the boiling water, in is going the garnish, there ain't much garnish, that's it, but there's loads of flavour in the other packet so, munge it up a bit, now we cook them for three minutes, right, been simmering away for three, three to four minutes actually, so let's drain the water off and get the gubbins in there, so first packet, gubbins going in, this is powder, There's a slight bit of water left in there, which is best because it will stick if not. That's the first packet in. That smells nice. It smells a bit like uh, an oxo or bovril. So I don't think these are prawn, I think these are beef flavour. Next packet, this little one, I ain't got a clue what that is. Looks like chilli, crust chilli. So last packet, this is liquid. Yee, look at that. Looks like soy sauce and stuff. There is bits in there as well. I haven't got a clue what it is. So we give that a quick mix. That's what they like. Look at them. No, I'm not using chopsticks because I don't want to get it all over my chops, over my t-shirt and everything. It takes me ages to eat with chopsticks. I can do it, but you have to go like the Asians do when they're eating noodles. It's and the whole lot goes in. I ain't doing that on camera. So we've got a fork and let's see what they're like. They do smell okay. They do do. Right then, first ones. Let's see. Me goreng noodles. Never had them before like these ones. It's strange because there is a slight prawn flavour coming through, but I'm also getting beef as well. So I don't know if they just do a mishmash of all different like meats and fish in the noodles when they cook them fresh, and that's what they've replicated in here. I don't know. Nicely cooked noodles, beefy, garlicky, prawny, loads of e coming through. I definitely getting the, the garlic coming through and also if you're a korma in a curry I think these may be too hot for you the, the, it's not really hot but there is a bit of spice there and I think that was that little packet I'm sure that was crushed and powdered chilli I would assume it's Thai chilies with it being I think it's an Indonesian style dish this one but I would assume they use Thai chilies 
So they've got a bit of a spice to them, a slight kick to them, but nothing that's going to blow your socks off. Definite bit of spice coming through. And it's a nice spice as well. Just enough so you know it's there. I can just feel it in my mouth. But it's not making your eyes water or making you go, ooh, mmm, nice. Yeah, the more you eat, the more that spice is coming through. If you're a korma, these are definitely going to be too hot for you. But it's a nice heat to them. Not too hot, but you know it's there. And it doesn't overpower the flavours. The flavours are coming through, the beef. Again, I'm picking up prawn as well. I don't, I'm assuming it's beef and prawn. And the garlic's coming through and the chilli's coming through. These are nice. And as you saw, they're not hard to cook. Boiling water, 400 mils, three minutes. Add your sauces, job done. Do leave a bit of water in. It says drain off the water, leave a bit in, because while you're adding the packets to it, it will stick to the saucepan. Unless you drain it off, put it in a bowl, and then add all your stuff. But I like to do it in the saucepan so it's not cooling down too much. And it's still hot when you're eating it. Right, thoughts on this. Now, we've done, as I said, over at the cooker, we've done their hot and spicy noodles. They were nice. I think they were a soup-based one, if I remember right, where you had more liquid. But I could be wrong. These, again, and I know the first one's got a thumb up because I said they were really nice. They, these are really good noodles. So nice. Now, if you're wondering where you can get them, these are from Tesco. And... Price-wise, they weren't expensive. I think they're under a pound. Maybe 125 at the most, but I'm sure they're under a pound. And it's in the, obviously, the Asian aisle where you go down. They've got all the Chinese stuff and all your noodles and everything. And they've got a section with all the dried noodles. I'd go and try these if I were you, if you like your noodles. Because banging noodles, they are. Go and track them down. The flavours are all there. They are spicy, but not too hot. Nice flavour, loads of flavour on them. Noodles are cooked, banging, banging. Thumbs up on them. Go and track them down. Most supermarkets, I would imagine, do them. What more can I say on them? Go and get them. Lovely, lovely. Thumbs up on this video if you've liked it. Thumbs up on this video if you've not. Subscribe if you're not, it's free, it doesn't cost you a penny, just one button click, maybe two, I don't know. Share the channel, drop your comments in below. Are you going to try these? If you like needles, try them, you'll love them, I'm telling you, and we'll catch you on the next one.